got to be hungry. Stop sleeping so Stop damn sleeping much. so damn much. If you're going to be successful, you gotta be willing to give up sleep. Stop sleeping so damn much. Yeah. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. Stop sleeping so damn much. Your success just comes from being born in New York and just wanting to do all the things I dreamed about. I always had some kind of drive in me, whether I was gonna be a screenplay writer, you know, whether I was gonna be an artist that illustrated comic books. I wanted to be a businessman that set up my room like an office. You got to be like 10 years old. Whatever I got into, I always planned to excel. I always believed that I could have it. I always believed that I could give people my ideas through art. Live with Barbecue was the first time you were ever on a song. What was that like when you first heard that? When I first heard Live with the Barbecue on the radio, I was just walking through my neighborhood and I saw a bunch of older guys. It was late night. As I'm walking by, I hear the song. And I'm like, wow, I'm telling some of the guys that's me. But you know, they're older, faded, they're halfway listening to me. So they're like, yeah, okay, cool. And they're going back to their conversation. They're not listening, but it didn't matter. I heard me. They walked back to my block. I was sort of in a daze, like, it's happening. Okay, it's happening. I'm in rap now. I'm, I'm a part of this rap thing. That was my dream, just that. So I'm like, all right, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. I've opened the door, the door has opened for me to have a chance to be heard and I will be a name known in this great thing called rap. My goal was to be the best, to change the game. I realized I could do that. At that point, I said, nah, no one could tell me anything now. I got it. I know what it takes. I got what it takes. And what I'm telling artists is you got to have balls and got to let these guys know. If you're a DJ, be a DJ. If you're a radio personality, be a radio personality and nothing more. We make the music that allows them to have a voice on the radio, and they took control and try to say, say that they have all the power and going to dictate what we have to do. I spoke out against it. So they got a dummy to go up there and be a dummy on the radio and speak on their behalf and talk about me. And um, it's, it's really unfortunate because they're using him and he's not even a part of my fight. My fight is a big fight. My fight is against any power structure that's going to try to hold back freedom of speech. And that fight ain't over yet. My advice for the younger dudes would be, you know, push yourself all the way. Don't obsess over what anybody else is doing. If you're given an opportunity and you're lucky enough to have freedom to do what you want to do in your career, why trap yourself? Why do something that's not you? Around Nostradamus, I wasn't motivated like I was before. Biggie was gone, Pac was gone. I didn't see a reason to keep making music at that time. I needed some time off. Beginning, man. It's like a new beginning. It's a new beginning, though, for real. Cheers, yeah, like man. Today, I have a great appreciation for those people out there that got me here today, for the, the, the experience I had and the journey that I had. I want you to acknowledge something. You know who this is, some of you may know, some of you may not, a lot of you are young. This brother right here, his name is Lars Professor. This brother right here started a group called Main Source, early 90s. This brother right here gave a f about me enough to give a 16-year-old kid a shot in the studio and put me on that song, Live at the Barbecue. This is my dude. I feel like I could stop now, and I'm totally satisfied. But I'm really happy that there's, there's something burning in me still to put out more. I love music.
hip hop music, singing, whatever. I love music. That's still in me. That's that burns in me. The rest is history. Your new campaign, I love. Never stop, never settle. Yeah. What for you means never settling? It's it's like wanting to be the best at whatever you do. Never stop until you're the best. Like. I don't believe in doing anything halfway. I believe in going all the way. So, you never stop. Growing up in Queensbridge, hip hop was the most amazing thing I ever heard. There was nothing more important to me in the whole world than having a voice. I wanted to make a big impact on this art form. I wanted to kick everybody out. I wanted to open up a doorway for another generation. One thing I don't ever want to be is mainstream. My goal is to not be what the mainstream calls a legend. I just want to do what I do. Legend's a big, big uh, title. Um, there's enough legends out there, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just living. How it feel to know you timeless you're forever. Every time you touch that mic, every time you do a concert, a show, a club, and you know you can perform your catalog and it still feel brand new. And if you didn't want to make another record, you're forever relevant. It's important because there's a lot of artists that only can make one record, can't even make an album, or make it past their first album. This is a special blessing, you know what I mean? This is change your thinking, you will change your world. Monday, I cry. Tuesday, I cry. Wednesday, I cry. Thursday, I cry. Friday, I cry. Saturday, I cry. Sunday, I cry. And that's why I'm here today. And listen to me, your problem is 